name is Tristan Phillips, and today I'm going to be reading Soul Wet. I picked this book because everyone is beautiful, and everyone should be treated equally. No one should be treated differently, because, differently from other people, because that's not fair. Solway was born the color of midnight. She looked nothing like her family, not even a little bit, not even at all. Mama was the color of dawn. Baba was the color of dusk. And Mitch, her sister, was the color of high moon. Hardly anyone at school looked liked, looked like Solway either. People gave her sister Mitch pet names like Sunshine and Ray and Beauty. People gave Solway names like Blackie and Darky and Night. Solway felt hurt every time. So she hid away while her sister made lots of friends. Solway dreamed of being the same color as her sister. She wanted real friends too. So she got to the she got the biggest eraser she could find and tried to rub up a layer of a layer of two of her darkness out. That oh that hurt. She creeped into Mama's room and helped herself to the makeup. Oh no, she would hear about this from Mama. Sole decided to work from the inside out and ate only the lightest, brightest foods. With a stomach ache, she went to bed early and turned to God for a miracle. Dear Lord, why do I look like midnight when my mother looks like dawn? Please make me as fair as the parents I'm from. I want to be beautiful, not just to pretend. I want to have daylight. I want to have friends. If you hear me, my Lord, and would like to complete, complete, comply as may I wake up as bright as the su sun in the sky. Amen. When Mama came in to wake her for school the next morning, Sole rose to find not a trace of daylight in her midnight skin. Sole told Mama everything. Mama asked, what is your name? Sole, she muttered. And what does that mean? Star. Sole whispered. Brightest is not in you, in your skin, my love. Brightness is just who you are. As for beauty, Mama said, rubbing Sole's stomach the way she always did to comfort her. You're, you are beautiful, Sole sighed. Well, you are beautiful to me. But you can't rely on what you look like to make you feel be beautiful. My sweet, real be beauty comes from your mind and your heart. It begins with now, with how you see yourself, not how others see you. Now, now up you get and out you go. How could she as dark as she was? 
How brightness is in her. How could she have beauty when no one but her mother seemed to see it? How could she be a star? That night, a shooting star appeared at Soli's window. The night sent me, the star said, come with me. Soli hopped onto the star and off they went. Long ago, at the beginning of time, said the star, there was night and day, and they were sisters. They loved each other very much, but people didn't treat the sisters the same. People gave day pet names like lovely and nice and pretty. People gave night names like scary and bad and ugly. She felt hurt every time. Well, night got fed up and walked right off the earth. Day stayed behind and enjoyed making everybody happy in the sun. But then, day grew too long. Day began to really miss her sister. So did everybody else. There had to be a way to get her back. Day set off to find night, and she did. I miss you, said Day. I miss you too, said Night. But you don't know what it's like to be treated badly for being dark. You're right, I don't. Day replied, but what I do know is that we need you just the way you are. Come and see. Night returned and the people rejoiced. We need, dark, we need the darkest night to get the deepest rest. We need you so that we can grow and dream and keep our secrets to ourselves. The stars chimed in, chimed in. Brightness isn't just for daylight. Light comes in all colors, and some light can only be seen in the dark. While day had a golden glow with night and everything had a silver shin, elegant, and fine. Dee told her sister, when you are darkest is when you are most beautiful. It's when you are most you. Could it be that night did not need to change? Not even a little. Now that night and day were back together, a little bit of night returned to day and the form of shadows. All a little bit of day returned to night and the in the form of moonlight. They were inseparable from that mo moment on and promised to celebrate the, big the biggest, the brightness in each other whether people choose to see it or not. You see, the star explained, we need them both on the sunniest days in their darkest night and even in every shade in between. Together, they make the world we know light and dark, strong and beautiful. Solway rose the next morning, beaming. There would be no hiding anymore. She belongs out in the world. Dark and beautiful, bright and strong. And if, and if she needed a reminder of her brightness, she could look up at the sky on the darkest night to see for herself. 
Sole felt beautiful. Inside and out. I hope you enjoy. I love the sole and I hope you do too. Bye.